It took me two years to run my first 100 miler, and this was a big bucket list event for me. A pretty big, scary adventure. And since running the South Downs Way 100, I've been thinking about what do I do next? What's next in my ultramarathon journey? And I'm definitely somebody who plans a lot. I didn't rush to run my first 100 miler. I built my way up through the distances, 50K, 50 miles, 100K, and then finally my first 100 miler. Um, and for each of those events, I did a hell of a lot of planning and preparation for it. I didn't just rush into these events. And I'm taking the same approach in terms of what comes next. I'm probably over planning and over preparing for what's next, but it's just the way I like to do things. And I've been thinking about you know, what kind of event comes next. Like I know if I look at like a 50K, I could probably do it off uh, a relatively normal block of training. I think I could probably, if I had to, drop everything and go and run a 50K tomorrow. Races like 50 miles, 100K, I think I probably need a bit more preparation, like a few months. And like 50 mile and 100K races, I could probably do quite a few of them every year if I wanted to. Whereas the big ones, the 100 milers, I think at most I'd probably be looking at doing one or two a year just because I feel like you need so much more preparation and uh, build up for them. But I've also got this itch to try these weird and wonderful different ultramarathon formats. Things like backyard ultras, timed track ultramarathon events like 24 hour track races. I'd love to try a, a mountain ultramarathon at some point. And since I started running ultramarathons, um, I've been playing around with this idea that surely as races get harder, more difficult, longer, do they become less enjoyable? And like, I don't do ultramarathons to kind of suffer. I don't do them to push myself to the limit. That's not, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I enjoy spending an entire day out on the trails and I really do genuinely enjoy the experience. So, is it going to get to a point where actually these ultramarathons get too hard and therefore I want to stop doing them? I want to stop running them. And when I ran my first 100 miler, I thought that was going to be the limit. I, I really didn't know whether I was going to enjoy running for 24 hours um, and especially running through the night. Um, I really thought that potentially could be the limit. And there was definitely moments during that race where I questioned why I was doing it, especially during the heat of the day. We'd spent seven or eight hours in direct sunlight and it was pretty unbearable. I was walking the edge of heat stroke. I saw plenty of people dropping out for that exact reason. But then during that same race, I had one of the most amazing experiences of my ultramarathon journey, running through the night, um, it was a special, special experience. And then to finish a race so strong and feeling so good, despite the fact that at one point I was really questioning why I was doing it and whether it was actually fun. And that experience has definitely made me question the, the idea that as races become more difficult, they become less enjoyable. And, and that's not to say the opposite is true, just making it really, really difficult isn't gonna make it more enjoyable. But there's definitely a more complicated relationship between the two. And that realization has definitely made me consider trying some of these more unique and difficult formats. And so I would love to try a mountain ultra marathon. I'd love to try a backyard ultra and just see how many loops I can do. Uh, and to see what is the cause that stops me from going for another loop. I'd love to try a fast 100K ultramarathon to really push the limits of my speed and to see how fast I could run some of these longer distances. And YouTube's definitely a source of these terrible ideas. Um, so I've been watching lots of uh, YouTube videos and getting lots of inspiration for some of these weird and unique events. I'm probably going to pronounce some of these names terribly, but Marcus Shelbury, um, his Kulamanan 100 mile ultramarathon race vlogs have been amazing. Really, really enjoyed them. Definitely inspiring me to want to go and run that race. Also, Guran Winblad's 24 hour track race video in a basement in Norway. Um, <laughs> what a mental race but yeah like something like that would be I, I'm, I'm curious about what it would be like to actually run an event like that and I've also been really enjoying Luke Barrett's uh, UTMB training series 
um, and going and running around the UTMB course. And, and I mean, he smashed it during the race, but his build up, the training blocks, um, amazing. Really, really enjoyed them. And so running events like 24 hour track races and UTMB, like these aren't gonna happen overnight. They're not gonna happen in the next 12 months, but watching some of these videos and, and having run my first 100 mile, it's definitely making me uh, curious about going and um, attempting some of these big, big races. And honestly, I don't know exactly what races I'll be doing in two, three years time, but I am looking forward to kind of the next phase of this journey. And, uh, you know, maybe in two or three years time, um, I'll be putting up a video about my five year journey to running UTMB. But I do have three races locked in for the next 12 months. So I've got Copenhagen Marathon locked in for May. I will be running Ultra Varsen, 90K, a 90 kilometer relatively fast trail race um, in Northern Sweden. Uh, and that's in around August time. And then in November, I will be taking on Kulamanen, uh, which is UTMB's uh, Swedish 100 mile race uh, in Sweden in winter. So I think you get something like 18 hours of darkness at that time of year. So yeah, a, a different kind of challenge, challenging weather and, uh, and, and dealing with just long, long periods of darkness. Um, but those are the, the big challenging events that I've got my A braces for the next 12 months. But yeah, I'm looking, to, looking forward to seeing where this journey goes next. I think 2024 is gonna be a pretty exciting year. Um, yeah, got some, some pretty big plans and I'm gonna document it all on this channel. So yeah, all right, well, cheers for watching.